the Queen of Tonga. That's what today's highlight film is about. Now, I know some of you are going, who? And some of you are going, oh yeah, I remember her. And it's true though, that even though Salote, the Queen of Tonga, died in 1965, she was still mentioned occasionally when I was a kid, mostly by my grandparents, and in the early 50s, for a very brief period, she was a celebrity in Britain. So once again, today's episode is dedicated to Salote, the Queen of Tonga. Now, my grandmother told me once when I was a teenager that one of the funniest memories of her life was when the Queen of Tonga was in London and my grandparents shared a car with her when she was driving around after some big event. It wasn't the coronation because here's Salote at the coronation. But Grandma said it was just when Salote's popularity was at its peak. So there were thousands of people lining the streets and, you know, smiling and waving and cheering. And Grandma said, So I just smiled and waved back at them all and it was all very lovely. What? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Here's the thing, though. I asked Grandma about it just before she died, almost 20 years ago, in her mid-90s. And she had no memory anymore of either the ride or the Queen of Tonga. But we do. And here she is again in Australia, on her way home, being interviewed. During a brief stay in the city, Queen Salote gave Pathé her first ever newsreel interview. I had a most wonderful trip to England to attend the coronation of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. I met the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh several times, and they are most charming. The coronation was a great occasion, and the memory of it, of it will never die. Although I got a good soaking, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. And now that I'm back in Sydney, I'm very pleased not only to be here amongst friends, but it's a step nearer home. How cool is she, you know? Anyhow, not long afterwards, Queen Elizabeth traveled to Tonga to meet Queen Salote. Tongans, who formerly greeted visitors in silence, have now adopted cheering at the request of Queen Salote, who brought the idea back from Britain. And there's no doubt the idea sounds just fine to every Tongan on the island. So to the palace, where Her Majesty is to be Queen Salote's guest. A permanent guest is Tui Malila, a tortoise which, it is believed, was a present from Captain Cook to a Tongan chief about 170 years ago. Holding the rank of a high chieftain, Tui has a special apartment in the palace. I don't think you really get the feel of Tonga in black and white, so here's scenes from a Pathé showreel that show a bit more of the island nation. 430 miles away across the Pacific is the island of Tonga, domain of Queen Salote. In her independent realm, bound to Britain by a treaty of friendship, unbroken for over 50 years, the Queen of Tonga rules over 50,000 people. To these Tongan islands in the 1770s came Captain Cook, and he named them the Friendly Isles. So that's what it looks like, and here are the people of Tonga on their way to greet Elizabeth. All Tonga dressed in its best. The people of Tonga, most of them Wesleyans, passing their church on their way in for the great event in their capital city. How well all who were in Coronation London remember Queen Salote and that ride of hers in the rain. At her side, as the final preparations were made, was the British resident in Tonga. I mean, it looks like a great place. I wonder if it has any downsides. But stranger to most of us, the flying foxes, the bats that hang from the trees in the palace garden. It is a simple meeting, this. Our royal family of Tonga waiting there for Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip. The queens are together at last. The heir to our throne of Tonga meets Prince Philip. Here beside the Pacific, the 50-year-old friendship between our two countries is renewed. I have to say, Elizabeth's dress is just fantastic. So anyway, they drive into town and they have a big feast dinner. And since no feast is complete without dancing, here's the Tongans in action. Salote had been queen since 1918, actually, and funny thing about Tonga, it alone, among the Pacific Island nations, never gave up its sovereignty, like, you know, Hawaii or Fiji. So there you have it, Tonga in all its glory. Why don't 
want more people visit Tonga, you know? I mean, it looks pretty nice, except for the bats. And you know what? I looked it up, and other than the occasional cyclone, you cannot beat the climate. The record high temperature is only 32 degrees Celsius, and the record low is 10 degrees Celsius, and it's basically always, I mean, always, 23 degrees. Tonga. Now I think I'll end with something different for no real reason at all. So ladies and gentlemen, here's the British travel board and none other than Rex Harrison with This Is London. London is a city of change and contrast. The River Thames reflects the brooding centuries of history and the bright swirl of today, of life, of now, of the excitements and pleasures of a great capital. The Tower of London. Splendors and miseries, deaths and fires. Music from royal barges and processions of kings. See you next Sunday for another highlight film. Links to everything I've shown are below. Now click here to see last week's highlight or here to see our latest playlist. And don't forget to subscribe to never miss an episode.